What is up, Bearded Nation? This is Alec from Bearded Collectibles coming to you with a Star Wars Destiny box opening. This is actually what they call a um, a booster box, or you know, if you're from the Clips community, this is a Gravity Feed style box. But these are interesting. These these can be found on BeardedCollectibles.com. The uh, information is in the description uh, link down below. Um, but this comes with uh, 36 packs. Uh, I have James here with me who's going to help me um, open this up. 36 packs, 5 cards per pack, and 1 dice per pack. So why only 5 cards per pack? Do you know why? Uh, I actually have no idea. Uh, okay. The 1 dice per pack means you have a chance to get a character or an upgrade because uh, all characters and all upgrades cards come with a die for them because okay. it's mandatory for gameplay. So everything else means it will be either an event or a location. Okay. Interesting. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this started. Uh, a little bit off screen. We got the we got these little starter already with the Puerto Rican knife, but we, we will still mention it in the video. Man, this is like opening. It's like Christmas. Yeah. Trash. We'll pick that up later. Interesting. So... How do we want to do this? So one thing to point out, this game is made by Fantasy Flight, who makes infinite Star Wars games, and all of them are pretty good. I mean, we've got X-Wing, Imperial Assault, you name it. So already you know it's going to be a pretty good game. Uh, I've been playing this game a lot. It's very balanced and very well done. How does this open? Um, this comes out? Tape. Yeah, you should just pull that. There you go. Oh, okay. Wow. So yeah, grab your feed. You guys saw it. There you go. So, the thick booster pack. Yep. It's like to be room for the die. Well, yeah, well, because it's meant to be to be hung up. Right. But it's just weird because it's like, hey, look, it's like nice and nice and crisp, and then on the back it's just like yeah. blah. All right. This, this is my first booster pack opening. Let's see. Let's see what we get. So, what are some of the cards? Some of the stuff that we want to get from from here. So, really good cards. Uh, Luke's lightsaber. It, uh, an insane card. So right here, I can tell you right now, we got On the Hunt, which is a great card for any deck running yellow. Um, so it's, it's pretty it's cool. So a, a fantastic. It card. comes like in like this little this little black portfolio, like a little black book, and it's like oh. <laughs> Actually, that's that's Halo. Never mind. On the Hunt. Yes, you are right. So how do you know the rarity? Uh, I'm not actually 100% on rarity. Oh, see, I brought you because you're the expert. I mean, I know the cards. I don't know the rarities. <laughs> That's fine. We'll, we'll figure that out. I believe the... Let me see these cards real sure. quick. I believe it's the colors. Well, I mean... In the corners here. I mean, in here... So... Yeah, so... Legendary, so... and what? So, yeah, so, so that's a rare... So that's the yes, rare. on the hunt is the rare. That's the common, and that's the uncommon. All right. Gotcha. So yeah, let's put the rares to the side. So pretty, pretty decent cards. Ha! Pretty good pack. Oh, hold on. Uh, red, yellow are a consistently deck that are together. Uh, a lot of people play Django Fett and Veers. Uh, it's kind of an aggro deck, which Django Fett is yellow and Veers is red. We'll keep, we'll keep those over here. Kind of doesn't matter. Just a. It's also, so this is just. Okay, so it goes with the, so I got a red now. So you so you know per the dice what, what it is already, right? Uh, I'm not familiar with this card. I just I just really like the how portfolio. the it's portfolio really, how it's it really comes nice, prevents the cards from getting damaged. Yes, that's that's really interesting. I'm that's glad why I did I that. Say I've never had anything come out of a pack and just be played. Hey, here's a promotion. That's the rare. <laughs> Alright, promotion red character only. After you play this upgrade, you may draw a card. So this is a pretty good card for uh, for upgrade based decks, uh, card draw decks. You want to be careful, there is a mill deck in the format, so a card like this is a little bit dangerous. Especially working with a 30 card deck. There we go. So let's get the full screen in there. Alright, another yellow. Is that, is that, who is that? Looks like should be another upgrade, not a character. Where's this black market? Yes, black market's a good card. This gets played frequently in the uh, the Django Fed job of the hot deck. 
So where do we leave off? Uh, opening the black market. I don't have these. Wait, so those are in comments. Those are comments. Comments, comments, comments. So are any of these comments that you know of are high in value? Uh, I wouldn't say high in value, but there are a lot of uh, $1 to $2 cards here for sure. Um, so this is the other kind of card that comes with the die. So you have your upgrades, which attach to your characters, and then you have your supports, which you just play, and then it becomes another card you can exhaust on its own, yeah. uh, activate it, and use its abilities. Sure. So another thing I, I didn't mention is that just like, uh, just like Final Fantasy, they have these little notches on the sides for easy to open, easy to crack open. Like I believe it was because of the difficulty people had opening starters. <laughs> so they wanted to make sure that didn't happen again. All right, got a red. That is another card I don't know. I'm so glad I brought you into this I video. I play blue. So. <laughs> this is Scout. Upgrade ability. So this is another good upgrade. We have uh, two chances on the die to get the uh, special ability. Uh, it's always good. You want consistency in your upgrades. Another red. That is an ATS. It's a vehicle. Yeah, let me, let me see. I'm, I'm going to try to zoom in on just the cards. It's a little bit difficult. Ah, let's figure something out. I'll put some, some of the good stuff up there. I really, really a, love these portfolios. Yeah. I'm going to keep those. Yeah, they're useful. They're nice. Hey, this is my first legendary. Nice. Yeah, the ATSC is a pretty good card. It gets played. It's a nice supporter vehicle for a lot of red decks. And if you'll notice here uh, on the card, you have no chance to roll a, a blank. Uh, you nice. Double chance at abilities. Really high attack. Three, four damage is a lot in this game. Pretty solid. Got the yellow. All right, we got a DL44. That's actually... Uh, a pretty good gun. It's the holdout blaster, I believe it's called in this game. The heavy blaster pistol. Heavy blaster pistol. Yeah, DL44 heavy blaster pistol. Um, so while it has the two reds, it's also great in a Han Solo deck because it has this ambush ability. And with Han Solo, whenever you play a card with ambush, you get to take another action. So you get two okay. actions when you play this. So, because I know you know what the dice are, I'm not going to show you the dice now. All right, great. Until I show you the card. I saw blue. It's Vader. Isn't it? No. No? It's Immobilize. Oh, okay. Is it good? Uh, it's an all right card. It's a good blue card depending on what you're building. Um, you can definitely throw it into uh, if you're just building a budget deck, starting out. Sure. Great card to have. So it's funny. You mentioned Vader. So is Vader only blue? Vader's blue. Okay. So the colors are representative of what they are. I'm not 100% sure. I know blue is force, but I don't remember what the red and the yellow are called. So Balatik, this is a character card. Uh, he has two values, your teams, uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, you have 30 point teams, so he has eight and 11. So you can play Balatik at 11 and throw in uh, a Kylo Ren at 13 and have a nice 24 point team. Still get two dice for each character. I'm assuming this is a location outpost or support. No, this is a support card. All locations are sideways. Okay. This will be the location. And the way locations work is um, basically each each player has one at the beginning of the game. Uh, and then you do a decider to see you, you roll all your dice and whoever has the most numbers showing the highest numbers. It's a trap. That's which location gets used. Admiral Akbar, really good card. Great character card. He's more of a like supportive character. You're sure. not gonna do a lot of damage with him, but he's pretty good for you know generating resources. So you said Vader and you mentioned also hey look Java. There you go, Java the Hut. This is a very expensive card. Uh, it's also a really good card. This might be Crime Lord though. Yeah, yeah Crime Lord. Also a very expensive card. It's a legendary, I mean. Uh, gets used uh, very frequently. So this card is actually insane. So uh, it's special ability of two chances to roll it on a die. And to spend, you spend five resources and uh, 
that character at the end of a round is killed. You just straight up kill someone's character to with paying five resources. Uh, you don't have to do damage. There's no there's no way to get around it. Once you resolve the die, it happens. But see, what happens they if you die. have diplomatic immunity? Boom. Uh, that does nothing. The character dies. You can have 400 <laughs> shields on a character. It does not matter. This kills that character. No, does it? Yeah. No. Oh. But even if you have diplomatic immunity? Yeah. I mean... Unfortunately, in the crime world, diplomacy means nothing. Well, clearly. But... This is a General Veers. Uh, sure. Pretty good card. Not a very expensive card. So, one of the more budget decks... Uh, is Django Fett Veers, like I mentioned in a previous video. It's a very good aggro deck. Uh, each of them are not very expensive, and I think playing them both at two dice puts you right at 30 points. Uh, it's very good. It's Vader. I don't know, is it? It's for sure Vader. No. No? Is Luke's, uh... Why did you make that face then? Oh, because I, I saw blue and I saw this, lightsaber. Also, this card is about 30 to $40, depending on where you get it. It is a must-have in any Jedi deck. Basically, your your Qui Gon boot camp, your Ray insert anyone else. You said blue was Vader, and I saw a blue lightsaber. I was like, what? No, it would have Vader on the die. But yes, this is a great card. Stop doing that. <laughs> stop what? Pulling, no, I don't believe it's Vader. Stop pulling. pulling it could blue. be Vader, and I don't even believe it's Vader. No, it's Jedi robes. I thought you said Jedi robes. Uh... Uh, it's not a starter only card. It's just a good card. Okay. The starter only cards, uh, mind probe and. Uh, what's it called? So I think there are only about two cards that only come with the starters. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know the exact list because it doesn't say. Well, it says it on here. What, the the what starter comes ones. The starter. Yeah, there's more than two. Let me see. I don't know. There's. Let me it's, take a look at this list right yeah, there. look at that list. While I keep opening blue die. Starter gray. So just Finn. Ray. Awakening, Frozen Way, Starship. And Night Saber. Or Night Sister. Night Sister, another character. Uh, she only has one value, which means you can only play her on one die. I think it's only right now um, First Order Stormtrooper and Night Sister play on one die. It might be Padawan as well. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, pull a double. Bar the dark side. Use the force. Where's my purple? Oh, there Pull a double of. This guy. Double Balatik. Balatik. Thank you for saying that because I was like, Balatik? Bal whatever. Mind Probe, yes. Mind Probe is starter only. So if you wanted to play blue, you would need to get another two, uh, sister. Starters. It's pretty interesting on that. Uh, can you put that under that? One? Sure. How the um, these portfolios have the little dice imprint on here but they're not really yeah i think they were supposed to and just never packaged them that way yeah they're, they're actually kind of loose yeah but i'm actually kind of glad because like the, yeah, the i believe these were supposed to be popped out and the die was supposed to be held in that spot. yeah but see the expensive card is actually facing up against yeah. this so it would have damaged the card mm -hmm. so i'm kind of glad they didn't oh another blue one it's a different one this time. Uh -oh. I know. So the cards, the really expensive good cards that you want to look for. Uh, Crime Lord's a great one. Uh, hey, what about a Qui-Gon Jinn? Lightsaber. Qui-Gon Jinn, really good card. Not super expensive. Pretty good for a budget deck. Until you, you know, start adding the cards like Luke, Luke's lightsaber. Hey, so can you, you, are, can you say the Force is strong with him? No, the Force is all right with him. Okay, because he did die. <laughs> what is this? I don't know what that is. Force training. Force training. This is a really good card too. Pretty necessary in every Qui Gon Ray deck. So, so what, what's the deck to beat right now? The deck to beat. Uh, there's a really great rock paper scissors. No deck is unbeatable. Okay. Um, a big part of that comes down to die rolls. Um, so, there's a little bit of luck involved, but there's also a lot of abilities in the game. Um, as a normal action, you can discard your card to re-roll your dice if you nice. like what you get. There's some Poe action. Um, Poe Dameron, I haven't really seen him in a deck yet um, at the shop where I've been playing, but I don't I don't really know if he's going to come out as anything or not because there aren't really great 
Is Jango Fett any good? Uh, Jango Fett's pretty good. Okay. Jango Fett Veers was the deck I was building. Because that's what I just got. Yeah, Jango Fett's definitely a great card. Um, very good for a budget aggro deck. You don't have to put a lot of money uh, until you want to. Uh, you can get thermal detonators and throw them in there. So, so how many legendaries are they card. per per uh, per box? I honestly don't know. Right now you have three, so. That's right. Oh, I just pulled a... Another legendary. Yeah. Does that use the force? No, it's upgrade. One with the force, okay. This card is insane. If you're playing blue, you're playing two of this card. Uh, this is a $30, $40 card right now, which is unfortunate it's so expensive, but the card is just absolutely insane. So um, it says, before an attached character is defeated, this upgrade becomes a support for the rest of the game. So normally, you'd attach it to your main character when they die. This just becomes a card where you get a die that just does fantastic things throughout the rest so of the game. So, the other card I pulled was uh, First Order Stormtrooper. Yes, First Order Stormtrooper. This is another with the one of value. Uh, Night Sister, First Order Stormtrooper. They can only have one die, but you can play multiples of them because they are cheap. So... Two of these is 14, so you can play Kylo Ren and two Stormtroopers. You can play uh, Kylo Ren and two Night Sisters. Some Survival Gear. Survival Gear is also a decent card. It's pretty good for uh, Jango Fed beers. One of the big car good cards to look out for, you want Jetpacks, Lion Falcon, Han Solo, uh, Crime Lord, great card, Luke's Lightsaber, Thermal Detonator. Comlink? Uh, Comlink's another good card. It's a neutral color. Can go on any deck. Um, not sure if it's uh, super expensive. But, uh, hmm. Never seen that before. A little bit of uh, miss center there on the the printing. Yeah. Uh, Count Dooku. Uh, I've never seen a Dooku deck. Could be a thing. Just don't think people. The game is fairly young, so yeah, it's fairly new. I mean, people yeah. are still testing. You know, I'm sure there's a, a few uh, net deckers out there. Yeah, absolutely. so so a deck is what forty cards? Uh, thirty cards. Thirty cards. 30 okay. Cards. Another outpost. And unfortunately, guys, right now, beer collectibles not selling singles at the moment. Uh, just sealed products. Uh, one of these guys, one of the pawns, infiltrate. See it over here? No. Uh, over here. Running out of room. Yeah, running out of room. All, all these dice. Yeah. So this, and that was my main concern. Uh, let's talk about some of these dice. So when you when you play a game, how much dice or how many dice do you need to bring with you? Or does it, does you need, it? If if you have it in your deck, if you have the upgrade, if you have the support, if you have the character in your deck, you need the die for it. Yeah, okay. You are absolutely required so, to bring it. So it varies per deck. Yes. And this is um, disappointing. I got another Dooku. So average, I think you'll have about maybe ten dice. If uh, that's that seems like a high number, probably ten dice uh, in a thirty card deck usually, maybe more, ten fifteen most likely. Tuscan Raider. How many more packs do we got? Oh no! Oh, we got four left? Four left. Five left. I lied. You're stuck in the other pack. Another. Is that the same one? Looks Brown, like it. No, that's actually a Jabba the Hutt. Oh. Another Jabba the Hutt? Yep, I believe that's another legendary. Or... It is another legendary. Yes. Quite a few legendaries in these boxes. So we're at five? Um, I believe so. One, two, three, four, five. No, because these, these are legendaries. So one, two, three, six, four, five, six. Oh, I didn't realize Poe was legendary. I would have put them over here. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if it's six per six per starter. Guys, please let me know in the, in the comments down below if it's six per... Per box, or if you if we were just very lucky. Random, no idea. Well, either that or I'm just very lucky. Uh, data pad. Data pad, pretty generic card, not not great. A uh, couple of blank spots. 
and all it can really do, you can get a resource, but it has two abilities that you can only use if you rule, rolled uh, another resource die. The plus means you have to have another one in order to resolve it. Black Market, great card. We pulled one. Pulled two of them now. Yeah. So not that very many dupes, which is good. It's not a blue dice. But it is my pad of one. Great card. Is it? You almost have the entire ray deck. Oh, do I? Yeah. That's awesome. The uh, Flygon Boot Camp deck. Last pack. What do, you, what do you think it is? Aim high. That's a card, so hopefully it's not that. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> a common. I've okay. Sure. Yeah, no, I think it's a duplicate, though. Pretty sure I saw this. Uh, diplomatic immunity. Cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you actually pulled everything you need for uh, a Qui-Gon Boot Camp deck. Four, five, six. Because you got the Luke's lightsaber, and that's six well, legendaries. You're missing one, one with the Force, but you basically pulled an entire competitive deck. Six legendary guys. So, like I said, including the starter, obviously. Yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, like I said, guys, please let us know if it's six per. Um, six per booster box or if we just got very lucky uh, please let me know in the comments down below again the uh, information to buy these are available at beardedcollectibles.com also in, in the uh, description down below but I uh, want to appreciate you guys' time uh, for watching this video for this box opening and stay tuned for more uh, Bearded Collectibles action with Star Wars Destiny this is Alec from Bearded Collectibles signing out